My name is Vito uh, Marques. Sorry for the interruption, Doctor. Uh, if you maximize that screen, so uh, from the beginning, share the screen from the beginning, slides from the beginning. Okay. I am in the PG student with master's on health science from the Federal University of Goiás in Brazil. And this study is about outcomes of uh, one work I do with the initial assessment carried out at a school hospital. And the title is Effects of Chemotherapy Treatment on Mental Health in Women with Breast Cancer. And the cancer is multifactory uh, disease in which the cause includes sedentary life, and obesity, malnutrition, and the hereditary factors. And our overglobe in the breast cancer and lung cancer uh, have shown the highest incidence of new cases in the 11.7%. Uh, with all types of uh, cancer account, uh, 9 million, uh, 2,092, and uh, 789, and 90 peoples and new case in 2020. In the in, in all number of deaths in 2020, 90 million and 90,058, 1,033 are fatal. And the breast cancer represented 6.9%, and five uh, most fatal uh, type of cancer. In the timeline, and the, we can see who the treatment is organized into before and after diagnosis. A before diagnosis presents uh, prevention and screen. After diagnosis, it will be divided in the pre-treatment, chemotherapy, hydrotherapy, and the hormone therapy. And the physical exercise is very important in all phases, and before, during, and after for reducing obesity, better quality of life, anxiety, and it, all these factors. What important is physical exercise during chemotherapy treatment? And the physical treatment is very important uh, to uh, higher self-esteem, self muscle strength, and the improves in the levels of fatigue, quality of life, anxiety, uh, body composition, and the physical exercise is important in different types, uh, volumes, doses, and the, the benefits and the gain, strength gains are uh, also reported both in high intensity and low intensity activity. And the and strength, and the strength gains is very important for and higher in the survival, the breast cancer survivors. And during treatment, and the, and the gains, strength gains is relationed in the higher uh, sobrevida and higher in the my better quality of life. And the resistance, resistance exercise, and this two set, set is a two, uh, two, three, repetition, two series. Repetition, eight to 12. Intensity, 40 uh, to 80%. In duration, uh, four moves. Uh, aerobic exercise and uh, activity time in the 30 minutes and duration, uh, duration in the 12 weeks. Intensity, six to 80. Per the frequency, cardiac mechanisms in the seminal frequency, two times. In the alternative exercise, and the include activity yoga, pilates, and the activity time in the six minutes in duration the 10 to 12 weeks, the seminal frequency two times. The purpose of the study uh, to compare muscle strength, quality of life, fatigue, and anxiety in women with breast cancer who are in the third to fourth cycle of chemotherapy treatment with apparently health methods is divided into volunteers, 
experimental design, experimental procedure, and statistical analysis. And this subject in the participate in the study in this in the in, in 11, uh, 19 women in the TCM breast cancer treatment with third and the fourth cycle of chemotherapy and the 18 women, the control group, CNT. The volunteers of the breast cancer treatment were selected at the clinical hospital of Federal University of Goiás and control group was selected in outskirts in the Goian city. The present study was approved by the ITCS committee in his year in the Federal University of Goiás. In the average, in the average, uh, average A, group age is similar. Uh, the group on the treatment average age was 52 uh, years, and the control group was 55 years. Uh, both groups are overage, uh, and the woman, uh, chemotherapy underwent the same treatment, anfracycline and taxans. And the first and the beginning treatment is anfracycline and the poster before the first, the before beginning treatment uh, after, after chemotherapy is and the treatment hormone, hormone therapy is tamoxifen. And the voluntaries first is uh, the free and the informative concession term in performed in the anamnese after an anthropometry measures, after questions about the physical, physical level and the EPAC, and the, uh, the after questions about the quality of life, EC, ECF uh, 30, 36, fatigue, anxiety, and getting family and the performance of manual, and last, in getting family and the performance test in the isocinetic dynamometer and fatigue index. In the main topometry measures, and they were performed using the digital scale from plana and the stadiometry from seca. And the physical, in the physical activity questionnaire was carried out by IPAC. The quality of life questionnaire was made in EC36. Uh, and this questionnaire was eight domains. And, dom and the functional capacity, vitality, mental health, physical aspect, emotional aspect, social aspect, general aspects of health and pain. The fatigue scale in the performance using the Piper scale, it is a questionnaire that has 22 questions with three different dimensions and affective, behavior, and sensory. And the scales range from the zero to 10. And there is no fatigue from one and three of, if on and two, three, a low levels fatigue, from the four to six, moderate level fatigue, and the seven to 10 and several levels of fatigue. And anxiety was uh, assessment using, using the e date, Anxiety score scale and instrumenting consists in two separate self helper scale and anxiety states and anxiety straight. And the EAT scale consisting of the 20 statements in which the subject are required to describe how the, the general view. In the instrument, the scores can vary in the two. Uh, uh, to 18 points, where the two are uh, to uh, three, ter, 30, four in the points, and the low anxiety in the 35 to 40, 90 points, and the moderate, moderate anxiety in the 50 to 64 points in the high anxiety, and the 65 to 80 points in the panic anxiety. And the Moscow performance uh, was assessed by the Biodex Dynamometer Chemo, Dynam Isocinetic Dynamometer, and a series of the 20 uh, repetition was performed. 
at uh, 108 degrees per second. As finalization of the peak de torque protocol uh, was made a series of 30 repetition with a five minutes interval one to main session start. Hand group test and the performance by the ECLE dynamometer, the voluntary set, able flex set, the voluntary exercise in, in the isometric force for the three to five seconds. First, with the dominant hand, and the with the non-dominant hand after one minute the test was retaking uh, and the height velo wolf selection in the statistical analysis uh, shapiro wilk was performed to evaluate a normal test a uh, data analyzed students the test was uh, with significant velo p minus 0.05 in a no effect in the trivial D minor 0.02, small 0.002, and to a 0.05, in medium, and 0 0.5, the uh, 0 to 0.8, in like in the, the, the 0.8. In the result, uh, show, uh, show there was no result and no different, be, different significance between groups. In the peak, the torque in the fate size was trivial. The hand grip test in this uh, effect, effect size is new, small. When, they, uh, when assessing, uh, when assessing the quarrel of life, uh, the group that was under treatment uh, has less physical limitation than the control group, but is inferior the, with comes to social and the emotional aspects. There was no significance in the anxiety and fatigue, no different significance between groups. In our results are similar to classing study. We analyzed the strange, strange levels of 205 and the 55 individuals divided into five groups. They did not undergo chemotherapy treatment, and uh, started the chemotherapy treatment, one runs new advanced chemotherapy, one runs uh, advanced in the women and the risk in the women health. And the result shows the volunteers we did not undergo. Undergoing chemotherapy have high values than those who did it and who did it and uh, uh, who did it different centers groups. And the adjuvanting those and he did not do adjuvant and adjuvant chemo show results than healthy women. And the dose uh, who had who were at the beginning of treatment. Those who started the chemotherapy treatment showed high values than those who did advanced chemo, by, but they did not show any difference with healthy women. They should fight all results because in the class instead, the treatment phase and the medication, medication are similar to our studies. Our, our studies. Uh, we it can be uh, inferred that at uh, this stage of treatment, the medication does not influence in this range of these strange levels. And a physical uh, exercise during chemotherapy is beneficial for improving quality of life, regardless of the study. Cornet 2028 20, evaluated the to 242 people who performed both resistance and, and aerobic exercise. We observed that they both showed improvements compared to the two control group. And the, the people and, and the released exercise and resistance exercise and aerobic exercise improved 
in high in the quarter of life. In the in, in they studied the by Schmidt. Uh, Schmidt exercise did not change the levels of fatigue. However, I feel we compared to group that did not any activity. The levels of fatigue are lower in, in relation to this compared group. In science, uh, we can see that having exercise performance at home, the effects for improving anxiety. Cornet assessment in the 15 women during chemotherapy for anxiety levels and before and the end of chemotherapy and the 20 weeks after chemo. The results show that the, after the control, the chemotherapy treatment, the exercise performed at home was effective in controlling anxiety. Present significant difference in, in relation to the control group. And the exercise is very important, uh, very improves in the, the levels quarter of life, anxiety, and fatigue. And in the physical exercise is improving in the general way in the health, in the mental health. And it's because it's very important. It's because uh, they studied the liver so in, in 2020 and analyzed 233 individuals wondering chemotherapy. The objective was to assess the levels of fatigue and the different types of treatment. And the result in the sh in show the 18.5% of patients have high anxiety. 73.1% uh, have low anxiety. Pittman in 2018 showed that 90% of women diagnosed with breast cancer have moderate to high anxiety. And the, in, your, in your study, there was no difference, significant in between groups. But the physical exercise in the general way is very important. And the, the volunteers is, was, is, was set in their life. And the beginning in the study, the uh, is the, the, the began in the physical exercise, and this the the head, the uh, people, and uh, more active. In the conclusion, uh, women breast cancer and the treatments during the third and the fourth cycle of the chemotherapy did not present difference in measures of muscle performance when compared to healthy women, but the moderate effects in the quality of life, fatigue, and anxiety. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you for your presentation. If anyone had any questions, please go ahead. Drop your questions in the chat box. I repeat, if anyone had any questions, 